Welcome to the first 40 facts of the 40k universe. We are bringing it down to 40 facts to make it quicker and easier. But don't you worry, that just means we get to put out more videos. Today we're going to be talking about 40 facts of the Tyranid race of the 41st millennium. So sit back, get your paintbrushes ready, and let's listen to these 40 facts about the Tyranid race. Fact number one, the Tyranids are an extragalactic alien race that is actually a spacefaring ecosystem comprised of innumerable different bioforms. The Tyranid race is solely dedicated to its own survival. Fact number two, the Hive Fleet is a monstrous superorganism that travels across universes systematically consuming all biomatter to ensure the survival of the Tyranid race. It is biologically adapted to survive in the vacuum of space. Fact number three, Hive Fleets travel with super luminal speed, though they never enter the warp. Instead, they use a specialized psychic power selectively evolved by the Hive Ship. They manipulate the gravity fields of stars to achieve faster than light travel. Fact number four, this form of travel is a result of a small Tyranid bioship classified by the savants of the Imperium of Man as a Narval. Using sensors, the bioship can detect new planetary systems at extreme interstellar distances. In some unknown manner, it then makes use of the star system's own gravity and creates a compressed space-time transit corridor through which the Narval and the Tyranid bioship can traverse interstellar space. Fact number five. Unlike most Tyranid bioships, the Narval is almost completely defenseless and possesses almost no bioweaponry, and only a very thin protective carapace. A cluster of monofilament spines on the Narval's bow allow it to take in wide variety of sensory inputs, including a broad spectrum of electromagnetic signals. Fact number six, strong gravitational sources overwhelm the Narval's sensory and thus it is very hard for a hive ship to travel at high speeds once close to their target planet. This means it can take years, sometimes even decades, for a Tyranid bioship to finally reach its target. Fact number seven, Tyranid high fleets move in a formation known as tendrils, migrating to nearby inhabited planets after consuming all the biological and organic matter on its most recent invaded planet. Fact number eight, man has given the three main high fleets that have entered the Milky Way galaxy the names of Behemoth, Kraken and Leviathan. Fact number nine, a target world can suffer from earthquakes, solar flares, tidal waves, and other natural disasters produced when the Tyranid hive ship is approaching. This is because of the Narval's strong gravitational manipulation. Fact number 10, once a planet has been chosen, the Tyranids will strip every single biological matter from the planet until it becomes a lifeless, barren rock. Fact number 11, Tyranid Hive Fleets consist of millions of biomechanical crafts, each serving as a host to an untold number of symbiotic organisms. All these creatures are born to serve the ship, and the ship in return exists only to service the needs of the Hive Fleet. Fact number 12. All Tyranid organisms are psychologically reactive, which is called synaptic, and each Tyranid creature within a hive mind shares and contributes to a communal hive mind, which allows the trillions of beings comprising the Tyranid hive fleet to communicate. Fact number 13. The smallest creatures are mindless and instinctive animals, plants and bacteria, performing functions with no conscious oversight or commitment while larger and more complex creatures can make decisions appropriate to the situation and form an integral part of the hive mind's distributed sentient awareness. Fact number 14, the hive mind is not a singular command structure but rather a synaptic web of psychic influence and feedback. Even though there are specialized synaptic creatures whose slightly more advanced brain functions are utilized as psychic routers, buses, and hubs, coordinating the enormous power of the mass organism. Fact number 15. If the creatures giving off the synaptic signal are destroyed, lesser Tyranid beings will revert to animalistic behavior. It is believed that the sea monsters of ancient Earth were actually Tyranid creatures that somehow separated from the hive mind. This is a bit hard to believe because this would mean that Tyranids have visited this solar system before. Fact number 16. 
The synapse creatures that channel the commands of the hive mind are mostly, if not all, potent individual psychers. It is unknown how these creatures can use the psychic abilities without calling the attention of the chaotic gods. Fact number 17, it is believed that the Tyranid race has migrated to the Milky Way galaxy after overpopulating or overfeeding the nearby galaxies of local groups. Fact number 18, given that each Tyranid hive fleet has approached the Milky Way galaxy from a different direction, this may imply that the Tyranids have consumed a disturbingly large number of nearby galaxies. Fact number 19, the signature of the Tyranid species is that they overwhelm their foes with sheer numbers, producing massive numbers of highly aggressive organisms to attack their enemies. Fact number 20, there are several characteristical stages of Tyranid invasion, starting with the first stage of reconnaissance, where the gene stealers invade. We are halfway through the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the facts and I hope your painting is going well. Jump on over to our YouTube channel after the video to check out some awesome narrative battles. With that said, let's jump back into the facts. Fact number 21, the reconnaissance stage of an invasion involves Tyranids with psychological abilities that focus on concealment. Tyranids like Vanguard drone ships, lictors, and gene stealers. Fact number 22. Vanguard drone ships depend upon speed. Their relative small size and their psychic ability enable them to quietly scout out new systems during the reconnaissance phase. Fact number 23. Lictors are deposited by the Vanguard drone ships and begin scouting the wilds of the nearby identified planet. Using their feeder tendrils, they analyze the atmosphere, mineral availability, and the characteristics of all life forms. Fact number 24 The lictor can absorb the memories of the life forms it consumes. This gets sent back to the hive ship where Tyranids begin to optimize based on this information. Fact number 25 Tyranids often attempt to first conquer a planet through infiltration, sending gene stealers to manipulate the target planet's sentient culture and prepare them for the main Tyranid hype ship. Fact number 26, gene stealers implant their enemies with a seed that is a virus, genetically altering the infested enemy's DNA, causing him or her to breed a Tyranid hybrid. This hybrid is controlled by the hive mind, giving it a strong urge to mate and continue to spread the Tyranid DNA until multiple hybrids form a gene stealer cult. Fact number 27, the longer the Tyranid hybrid generation is, the more they will resemble their native species. The first hybrid still looks like a gene stealer, but once you go down the line, they get closer and closer to regular beings of that native planet. Fact number 28. A gene stealer cult emits a psychic signal through the warp that acts as a beacon for the main Tyranid hive fleet to come and consume the planet. Fact number 29, the second step in a Tyranid invasion is called infestation. This is when the high fleet arrives into the system. Fact number 30, once a high fleet arrives, it creates a psychic blanket, disturbing the warp in a radius several light years away. It is virtually impossible to send out help signals, and even vessels sent to defend are unable to exit the immaterium, leaving the system stranded. Fact number 31, once the hive ship has come into range of a target planet, it immediately begins to launch a rain of mycetic spores into the atmosphere and towards the planet's surface. Fact number 32, mycetic spores are filled with a variety of tyranid organisms, gaunts and gargoyles are the most common, as they are ready to burst open and start the invasion. Fact number 33, Molochs and Trigons are sent in mycetic spores and they burrow into the planet dropping spores that will grow into capillary towers. Fact number 34, some of these mycetic spores are filled with microbial life. These hostile microorganisms immediately begin to change the planet's atmospheres, ocean, soil, and fauna. 
fact number 35, lictors and gene stealer cults begin their full attack during the infestation stage by targeting officers, communication hubs, and causing revolts amongst the native inhabitants. Fact number 36, every weapon used in the army is a bioengineered tyranid organism in its own right. From the spores populating the atmosphere, from grotesque spirals that burst from the tortured ground during an invasion. Fact number 37. The third phase in an invasion is the assault phase, where Carnifexes, Tyrannofexes, and even Hierophant Biotitans accompany the Gaunts and Gargoyles as they eliminate all resistance on land, sky, and sea. Fact number 38. Capillary towers many thousands of meters in height burst forth from the planet's crust during the assault phase. These towers consolidate the biomass that the swarms have already absorbed, using it to breed additional organisms to assist in the assault. Fact number 39. Specimens of Dominatrix and Hierophants, which are tyranids comparable in size and strength to Imperial Titans, will be created if the native defenses are too strong for the lesser tyranids. Fact number 40. During the assault phase of an invasion, the tyranid gargoyles and harpies swarm in numbers large enough to block out the light from the system star. And those were 40 facts on the Tyranid race. I hope you guys enjoyed. There are more 40 facts about the 40k universe to come. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, and like. And if you can, jump on over to Patreon where a simple dollar will help us create more 40k content. If you can't, simply by sharing, you're doing a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out more 40 facts and more 80 fact videos. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out.